and here we are back on the Tiger Lily in Long Island Sound en route to Port Jefferson, Long Island, my ex hometown. And here's First Mate Lily doing a little cleanup after we set our Code Zero. We traded the Genoa for the Code Zero yesterday on the forward stay. And we have, because I thought we'd have a really good angle to use it today, and it turns out we do. About uh, 8 to 10 knots of true wind. And this is the perfect sail for it. Unlike <clears throat> most Code Zeros, this one was designed to fly in the luff groove of the outer stay. Usually they're free flying. But it's a big, big sail, big reaching sail. And it definitely gives us a big boost in speed over the Genoa on this point of sail. So what do you think, Will? The Code Zero. It's giant. Big sail. Yeah. Perfect for this condition, right? Not too windy, but just enough to get the boat moving about uh, seven and a half, eight knots. So we're rolling right along. And if it doesn't get too windy at this angle, we'll be able to hold it. So anyway, that's what's going on in the Tiger Lily. It's 7th, I think. And uh, we had a nice time in Hamburg Cove. Stopped for fuel on the way out of the Connecticut River. And yeah, now we're just uh, doing what we do every year, which is head back to Port Jeff, see some friends, and look for a weather window to head south. So this time, maybe going all the way from Port Jeff to Norfolk instead of Port Jeff to Annapolis, so another hundred and some odd miles. Hopefully we get good weather to do it and I can find some crew. Beautiful day on Long Island Sound. For a weekend, there's nobody around. I mean, it's only September 7th, just nobody. A couple of boats here and there, but really nobody around. So we're gonna have a nice sail here. Thanks for watching.